from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for January 30th, 2015. In a moment, I'll be taking a look at the GBP USD, the Greater British Pound versus the US dollar. But first, I want to take a look at this US yen and some of the trades that have been happening over the past few days. If you take a look down here in the, uh, the terminal at the bottom of the chart showing our account history, at least on this demo platform that we've been uh, studying the trades on, you can see three trades. The one down here at the bottom uh, taken at 117.50 as a buy. You can see one right here taken at 117.49, a little bit lower, and then one here at 117.65. We've had several opportunities and some some people getting in a little bit lower, some people getting in a little bit higher, but several opportunities basically to buy down here into this orange shaded area and the supports that we've seen here, basically here, here, and here. Let me put a couple of arrows there. We've seen opportunities to buy here and back here, and then just yesterday again, we saw it here. So there's the three opportunities and the three, three trades that we took over the past few days. You can see all of them closing out profitable. This one actually uh, saw a pretty decent amount of profit uh, from 1750, locked break even, uh, closed some profit as it approached the purple shaded area. Uh, and that was this first trade here. Uh, closed some profit as it approached the purple shade area. You can see having about 75, 80, 85 pips on the trade. Uh, and then it came down, took the trade out. Uh, getting in again on the next time, we again see uh, locking in from 1750 on the second attempt here. Uh, getting in, locking in, having about 50 to 60 pips coming back down, taking us back out. Uh, this attempt here, 1765, that's the third attempt to get in, uh, seeing about 75 to 80 pips of profit again on that trade. Uh, and once again, coming back down, locked in a little bit better than break even on that one uh, and came back down, took that trade out. But all of the, all three of those trades, seeing 60, 70, 80 pips of profit, uh, giving the opportunity to close a little profit, protect the trade in case it was the time for the breakout, and then you look to follow it further. But they all three saw opportunities for profit this week. So that's really the, the key point to all this, is that there's been three opportunities that we've taken. Now, there, once again, there is another opportunity today into the orange zone. We're back down into there again. I would be cautious because the more times it hits there, the more likely it is to break through there. It doesn't mean you can't do it. You can take another buy here today, looking for the return back higher again to the purple zone. Eventually, we'll look for a breakout. Just be cautious. If it breaks under that orange zone, we could see a fall even all the way back down towards 116, the blue shaded area at the bottom of the chart. Uh, that's very important information. A breakout here, we look for it to go lower. If it breaks out above the purple zone, of course, we'll look for it to go higher. We do also have US. GDP coming out today so uh, that could be the catalyst that breaks it out of this range but I just wanted you to see the opportunities that you've had here just on the US yen this week and then of course on the US CAD the buys we'll talk about those later in the trade room uh, today I want to talk about the GBP USD Great British Pound versus the US dollar you can see right here I am actually in a buy we actually set this pending trade yesterday uh, as a uh, Sorry, not a buy, a sell. We set a pending trade as a sell at 1.5,080 yesterday during the trade room. And currently the market is down towards 1.5,061. Uh, so we're sitting 18, 19 pips of profit right now on that trade that was posted during the trade room yesterday. So uh, if you were looking for that, and that, this actually is a trade that I got, uh, we put that pending trade there, and it didn't even actually take me into the trade until several hours after the trade room. So for those of you that wonder if it's okay if you don't make the live trade room, is it okay if you just watch the recordings? Uh, yeah, that was several hours after the trade room that it got activated, so uh, not a problem. So anyway, let's go out here to the weekly chart. We can see the previous uptrend, or the long-term downtrend, basically we're retracing this long-term uptrend. Uh, if you look to the left-hand side of the chart, the two support lows that you see there into the yellow or orange shaded area at the very bottom of the chart, 1.4875 down to 1.4817, that's our next lows. Assuming we break through our current support, and that's the green shaded area just above their bottom of that blue box. So we'll take a deeper look at that on the daily chart. If you look over here on the left, or sorry, on the right-hand side, I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. 
so we can see this a little bit better. We can see the market has been finding support just inside or just above the green shaded area for the past several days. Uh, we're coming back down to approach that right now. Of course, the sells from the 1.5080 level, which is the bottom of the blue shaded area, uh, are in profit now. Of course, the closer it gets to that green zone, it would be my suggestion that you're protecting or at least moving your stop to break even, protecting that profit, maybe even closing a little profit. But keep in mind that if GDP, US GDP comes out in a certain way today, we could see a final breakdown of that green zone, a continuation of what was the previous downtrend. Of course, we're in a period of ranging channel. You can look between the two red lines here, the two red trend lines I have, and see that we're in a channel. The best opportunities to sell would be, of course, towards the top end of the channel. That would be the better opportunities to sell it, but we're a long ways from that right now. Of course, now we're looking for the breakout of the bottom. Uh, another challenge back down towards this red trend line could even take it down here into the mid 1.49s, especially if it breaks down through the green shaded area. And of course, like I said, if it continues to pressure lower, we could even see this all the way down here in towards the mid to upper 1.48. So selling is still the main focus here. I don't think you want to sell it as it approaches the green shaded area, though. Four hour chart just gives you a little bit of a, a closer detailed view of that. There's the blue shaded area. That's the reason for the sells. Remember, sell rally into resistance. I'd say that about 14, 15 times during the trade room every day. Sell rallies to resistance or breaks of support. You want to buy low, sell high. So we waited for it to go up into the blue shaded area, taking a sell. Now sitting with profit as it goes down into the mid to low 1.5050s. As it approaches the green shaded area, I'd be very cautious about entering a sell if you're not already in one because we're likely to find a little bit of support here. That's what the market did the last time. So if you're looking to sell it, wait for it to go back up into resistance or break through support. If you sold it like I did at 5,080, you're protecting profit now. Hopefully the catalyst, the GDP, will uh, send the U.S. dollar, uh, send the, at least the pound dollar lower with the U.S. dollar strength, send it lower, and we'll see some more profit out of this pair. If it goes back up, of course, now we're sitting into the 5,040s. We have the opportunity, over 20 pips of profit now, to bring our stop to break even. And now we can't lose on the trade at all. So I'm sitting over 20 pips of profit right now. Actually, about 30 pips of profit right now. I've locked break even. I can't lose on the trade. It's a stress-free trade. Uh, if And you could also close some profit with 30 pips of profit right now. Uh, the way you do that, just want to give you a, a real quick recap of how you use MT4. If you're not familiar with that, you can see I am trading one mini lot, 0.1 lots there. If I wanted to close a half of that trade, let's say, let's say I want to close half of that trade, I'm going to bring up the modify order box. Actually, that's not what I'm going to bring up. I'm going to bring the close order box. I'm going to change my lots to half of the what I have in and I'll close it. And so what that does is that closes half of my position and with 30 pips and now I have half of the position still sitting there uh, waiting for more profit. So now I've closed half of the trade leaving half of it on at break even. If it continues to go lower, great. If it doesn't, it goes right back up. No problem. I've made some profit now on the pound dollar for the day today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.